Today we are going to talk about some of the dumbest Georgia laws. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a fantastic start of your weekend. Uh, I guess it's, it'll probably be Saturday before I get this video out. Um, but today we are going to talk about some of the dumbest Georgia laws that are, uh, some are still in effect, some are no longer in effect, and we'll go over some of those. First of all, obviously, I'd like to welcome Staten for coming back once again. How are you, sir? Um, you know, living the dream, one nightmare at a time. Yeah, he just got done with bicycle training, and unfortunately, he did let me know the current condition of his taint, which apparently has been worn down. I didn't know we were going to put that out on the, it's real painful, to be honest. That's probably the thing that hurts the most. I could have lived without knowing that. Though. Well, you're welcome. So what else What else hurts? Obviously, you're a little bit sunburned. I am very sunburned. That was my own fault because I didn't put on suntan lotion the first like three days of it. It was a week long. We rode like 40 miles, I think, total. Rode over every bridge in the city. Rode at night a lot, in the rain a lot. My thighs hurt and my uh, cabbage patch hurts. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's like 50 shades of white, so this little yeah. bit of tan that's on here. I don't know if you'd be able to see it in the video that's just pain yeah it hurts a lot i put aloe on before i left the house all right so let's talk about eight of the strangest georgia laws these are actually currently um in effect right now so the first strangest law is code section 3-3-33 um, and this basically says that devices that will vaporize alcohol for you are considered illegal they're prohibited in georgia so like in a vape pen can't have like a vape pen that has alcohol in it. That's a good question. But I think what they're talking about is like, have you ever heard of vaping alcohol? No. There's a company that sells like a glass ball and you put your favorite like spirit, distilled spirit in there. And then you put it over a tea candle and they give you a glass straw to stick inside this bubble. And as it heats up, the alcohol is the first to evaporate before the water and you suck it in and it's like an instant so it's drunk. it's like pure alcohol you're, yeah. you're getting because the, Straight the to your brain. is what vaporizes. Which I can't imagine that would be very good anyway. Well, I mean, I guess if you're just trying to get shitty. Yeah, but that like, imagine one shot that's not being filtered by your liver. Yeah, well, you that's, that's true. Yeah, and it doesn't go through your liver. Yeah, like, like straight to your, your brain. That, so you can't do that in Georgia. Yeah, can't do that in Georgia. That's illegal. No vaping alcohol. Next code section is 3-3-41, and it basically says no love in a club. So you can't you can't have sex in a club in Georgia. Specifically a club? Yes. But I could do it like in a 7-Eleven. I don't know why you would want to do it in a 7-Eleven. Well, I'm saying like... I'm sure you wouldn't be the first person that did it in a 7-Eleven. Apparently, there was an issue if they had to make a specific code for making love in a club. Or maybe it was... Too many people having sex with strippers, I would imagine. I'm in love with a stripper, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, the, the actual code section says, Performance of actual or simulated sexual acts, use of artificial devices or inanimate objects display of visual images of sexual acts. So you can't even watch porn at the club on a screen. It's very specific. That's like oddly specific. It, that is very, yeah. So like some lawmaker had a personal experience with this and he was like, we need to write a law banning this. What if he was like at a strip club and then they just started showing some porn and he's like, I didn't come to like, watch a porn. Like, yeah, I came to watch actual. This is strippers. absurd that I should have to watch porn at a strip club. That's weird. That is weird, though. No person shall perform on licensed premises acts of or acts which constitute or simulate sexual intercourse, masturbation, flagellation. Flagellation. Moving on. So, or any sexual acts which are prohibited by law. Uh, see, the touching, caressing, or fondling of the breast, buttocks, anus, or genitals. I don't get it, because that's what a strip club is. Yeah. I mean, well, but in Georgia, you can't, I guess you can't touch them. You're not supposed to touch them. But according isn't that to this. talking about yourself? They can't touch themselves. They can be up there dancing with their shirts off, but they can't caress um, their yeah, I guess so. Breastuses. So basically, if you're a stripper in Georgia, you can just jump up and down. That's about it. I don't think this is enforced. I don't think this is enforced either. I'm not enforced. Are you enforced? Well, did you ever enforce it when you were still in Georgia? I've never had a reason to. Yeah. I, I've, I've never been called to a strip club and the complaint have been like, the strippers touching her nipples, touching herself, and and she showed me her boobies, and I don't like it. And <laughs> honestly, if I got that call, I'd be like, I don't. You're at the strip club. Yeah, well, would you, that's would what you come? That's what we do here. <laughs> Next code section is four five three, and it states basically that it's not cool to abandon your dead animals. What are we supposed to do with them? Give them a proper burial. Meaning, like you can't leave them like in the guest bathroom. Yeah, like don't. 
don't leave it on your neighbor's doorstep. Another oddly specific one. Yeah, don't don't leave Henry the pit bull at a stop sign dead. I get that, like dumping it like out in public. Yeah, but who? I mean, who would dumping. do that? People are assholes. All these laws are in effect because somebody messed up somewhere along the line. Pretty so. much every law that's in effect is been done. Every law. And somebody said every that's case a- law, every policy. <laughs> yeah. That's an issue. We should uh, affect a law on that. Next code section is 4-12-5, and it outlines regulations for llama activity sponsors. I'm, I'm very interested. So apparently there's llama events in Georgia. I've never seen one. Actually, the fair. The fair has llamas. They have llamas. Well, so they have they, to abide by this code They're section. governed by this code. I guess so. But who enforce? Well, I guess, would we enforce that, or would that be code enforcement? That would be code enforcement. I would enforce it. I would volunteer to be on the llama detail. Well, I don't know the specifics. Your llama's leash is too short. Yeah, your the hair you got to trim its hair. It can't wear that shirt. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> your the, llama cannot wear that Hillary Clinton shirt. Your llama's heels cannot exceed like three inches, kind of thing. <laughs> See, I, at first glance, I thought this llama had a "Make America Great" hat on with yeah. a red bandana. That's still a good picture to begin with. I'm Trump supporter by day, but I'm a blood at night. <laughs> right. <true. laughs> Next code section, and this is one we've actually. This is one we do use. Is uh. OCGA 16-5-25, fighting words, may actually justify a simple assault. Now, I'm not saying terroristic threat. It's not like I'm going to kill you, which is a terroristic threat, which is a felony. Um, but these are just fighting words. I'm going to kick your ass. That justifies a simple assault in Georgia. Well, fighting words in Georgia law is actually defined, and that goes into like disorderly conduct. True. Fighting words yep. is an element of disorderly conduct and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, public in talks all has fighting words like the in quotes fighting words in there so uh, pretty much words that if you can if a reasonable person would be in fear of their own safety it could be considered fighting words but it's always up to interpretation because they don't list out you can't say this word this word this word and a lot of times guys and I'm sure somebody's going to ask me in the comments section how often do you actually enforce something with fighting words uh, if we respond to a call and there's something that falls under this code section, I mean, if it warrants a report, we'll usually do the report. It's hard to prove. It's hard to prove for one. So usually like in Georgia, let's say it's he said, she said, nobody's actually physically hurt. Um, a lot of times we'll just do the report and then that individual can go to the magistrate court and swear out a warrant. Um, we do that for a lot of our cases, unless it's very obvious that we can testify to it in court. That's, I think that's an okay that's, way to put it. Yeah. You tell Joe Schmo you're going to kick their ass. Joe Schmo calls the police. We don't just show up and put you in handcuffs and take you off. It doesn't, doesn't quite work like that. Next code section is OCGA 12-5-288, uh, and it's basically saying you can't live on a boat for more than – I actually looked this one up. This says 90. Um, it's 30 days in a calendar year. You're not allowed to live on a boat in Georgia waters. So if you travel from Florida and you're going up the coast and – you just dock somewhere and you can't stay there for more than 30 days. Is that like a safety thing? What's the purpose of that? I don't know how thing it would be a safety thing. Something just bothered a lawmaker and he made a law about it. Last code section, OCGA 26-2-249. Milk, butter, ice cream, and any other dairy products may not be handled in an unsanitary manner. So you cannot have an ice cream cone in your back pocket. That's illegal. That's another one that's too specific. That's very, yeah. It should be like any food can't be handled in an unsanitary manner. But this guy said ice cream, milk, and butter. So don't put butter in your pockets because it's not sanitary and it's illegal. Or milk. Don't pour milk milk in your pocket. I would enforce that law just to say that I, like if somebody was like pissing me off and bothering me and they had a stick of butter, picked up the butter with their dirty hands or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's unsanitary handling of butter. And this is just saying handled in an unsanitary manner. It's not saying. It's not saying outside. using the pocket. Yeah, that's, example. That's because that keeps coming to mind. But, but like, don't leave butter out on your counter for more than a couple of days. Define unsanitary. Picking it up with my hand is technically unsanitary. <laughs> so you break so the I law gotta, when you make dinner. I gotta put on a hazmat suit when I want to <laughs> fucking get a glass of milk with my ice cream or whatever. <laughs> I'm not trying to go to jail, and I'm definitely not trying to go to jail for something like that. Hey man, what are you, what are you in for? Oh man, I picked up a stick of butter with my dirty hands and told the cop to fuck off so he took me to jail for fighting words and dirty butter dirty butter (laughs) unsanitary handling of butter all right guys that is it uh the last thing on here i've got a a list that i'll kind of run through um these are not verified i don't have code sections for these but 
Um, they either are in effect and I just don't have them, or they were in effect before, but either way they were found through LexisNexis, which is a very reputable site. So, the first one is, the floor of a porn store must be smooth and absorbent. Absorbent is very, That's that is very specific. Specific and counterproductive. So, so if like... The <laughs> fluid hitting the ground on a porn store... You want to be able to just clean the floor. Yeah, you don't but want it to be absorbent. the floor is absorbent all the... So if, like, Squirty Sally walks in, <laughs> we need the floor to be absorbent for Sally. <laughs> <laughs> or Seaman Steve. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think of a guy name that started with an S. You're welcome. I couldn't Squirty Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is, it is illegal for a chicken to cross a road. So okay. the old saying, why did the chicken cross the road? Because they're a lawbreaker. Because... And they need to go to jail. Because fuck the police, that's why. That's exactly why. Next one is, it is illegal to use profanity in the presence of a corpse in a funeral home. Well, you don't want to offend the dead guy in a funeral home. So it could be like out on the street if I find... Well, this, I, this I, just I, says a corpse, but the one I read before said in a funeral home. But I'm saying if I find a dead guy in the street, I can curse at him. As long as it's not in the funeral home. Yeah. Next one on the list, donkeys may not be kept in bathtubs. I agree with that one. I do agree with that one. Why are these all so weirdly specific? I don't know. I guess it's safe to say he was being a jackass. I was going to say he had a dirty ass. Ah, damn, that one's, that one's better. That one's better. Bath, that one's better. <laughs> yeah. Next one down, it is illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole or street lamp. I can't tall. see. I it's can't. tall, so it's going to hit the wires. That's not that damn tall, is it? Giraffe? A giraffe? Maybe a big one. <laughs> I don't know. What's the height on a giraffe? I don't know. They're pretty big. I we think. can. We, I guess we could Google it, but somebody will let us know in the comments. Um, off the 401, a giraffe is an approximately 30 feet tall animal. Sometimes they can reach 32 feet. You make fun of the guy, but at least he knows. Yeah, true. He, does. he knows something we don't. He, so. Yeah. Who's the real loser here? <laughs> These guys. I'm going to zoom in for that. <laughs> Two more. It is illegal to change the clothes on a storefront mannequin unless the shades are down. That's ridiculous. That is. Somebody walking down the street that I'm sure was a good Christian got offended because um, that bothers me. a mannequin in his little plastic bump was yeah, flashing up have, in the window. They don't even have dinglings. They don't even got the goods. They just got like little humps. Yeah, but I have seen mannequins with, with camel toes. I mean, unless it was just built that way and they didn't mean for it to look like that. But I, I know a camel toe when I see them. You never saw the actual camel toe because the shades were down when they were pulling it out. No, they, they were breaking the law. They should go to jail. I'll enforce that one again. Last one on here. It is illegal to have a picnic in a graveyard. So I'm sorry for all you emo kids out there. Um, if you want to be true rebels, go have a picnic. Next to your grandpa's grave. It'd be kind of weird. It's kind of... It's kind of morbid. Picnics are happy. Does that mean like if I visit somebody in a graveyard, I can't eat a sandwich while I'm doing it? <laughs> Define a picnic. Can I not have a Slim Jim while I see Uncle Tom? Do I need a basket for it to be a picnic? <laughs> I was hungry and I stopped by the Wawa and I got a meatball sub on the way to see grandma yogi the bear wasn't there <laughs> anyway guys that is it for today thank you so much for joining us i do appreciate it we are actually going to go out and have a couple drinks we never get to do that like stat was saying earlier it takes like the stars aligning for us to be able to get together and even do a video you guys don't see the behind the scenes stuff you see a lot of videos with us but it takes an act of congress for us to get those videos out so anyway stat and thank you for joining me today i do appreciate it um, Staten now has social media. I have set up a few accounts for him on Facebook and Instagram. I will put a link to his Instagram in the description box below. So give him a follow. He posts a lot of memes and shit like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to address them accordingly. Have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you guys very, very soon. <laughs>